Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm just going to go over a little problem that I've had and how to fix it. So I've had a print that hasn't finished printing and um, the filament got stuck. So how do I recover this and not throw this in the bin? That's what we're going to go over today. So join on. Okay guys, before we get into it, uh, if you haven't already done so, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel lots of people watch but don't subscribe so and I sort of need a few um, people to subscribe and um, that'd be really great and we we'll really do appreciate people that have thank you so what happens you can see in this roller spool I've got a uh, spool spool of filament I've got I uh, see how that little bit of plastic uh, filament is sticking out the end there just on the inside so what it does with manufacturing it sticks it through the hole here and then wraps it around and it bends the filament there and every now and again that gets caught and the um, printer doesn't know it's run out of filament because the end of it hasn't gone through the filament uh, the filament run out sensor so it's still think it's got filament and it's just going around thinking it's pumping out filament when it's not because it's stuck on the end of the reel there um, what I usually do I obviously didn't get it in far enough I usually get my snips and I come in and they go right into the middle there and I usually snip off that tiny little end bit and try and make that little bend as small as possible so it's got the easiest chance possible to get through the Bowden tube that runs through the filament run-out sensor. Okay, so what's happened is it's got a fair bit of filament in this. <laughs> so it's got to this spot here and it's kept going thinking there's filament but nothing's coming out. So what you do, there's some things that you can usually tell. So I've got a little line here. Now that little line is part of... Um, see one i don't know another one in here but anyway it's part of it the pattern so it's got a little um like rectangle type pattern on the edge of the on the surface of the filament here so that's one thing that, that you can check now yeah, where is it there yeah, that's one thing you can check just to make sure that you've lined it up properly now if you haven't already got some what i suggest you go out and get because they're not very expensive and it's these um electronic calipers I have here so like this these cost like 20 Australian dollars 15 US um, and what I can do is measure exactly how much um, what size this is so I can turn it on you zero it so it's zeroed I then get it and I can where am I get I can then get it so I can place it over get right in and if you can see it says 140 oops, wrong way around well, well, I moved it 141 something oh, sorry guys no, that's not right. What the hell are you doing? I pushed a button. Push the wrong button. <laughs> you got to be careful of that too. You got all these buttons on it. Now, if you can see, it's about. Where is it? Get it. And it's flat. 140.7, 140 140.8. Cool. So, then you can get back into your browser. And I'll just go there now. Hang on, tick. So, you go into your browser. So, this is what I was printing. And I usually try to keep. The browser, uh, the browser, the slicer open until it's finished printing, if possible, because this is what you can do. Okay, so I know it's 140.8. Yeah, so I can click on that object and see this Z value. That's how far down it goes. So if I make this a negative number and I make it negative 140.80, I can do 790. I guess I can do really, really exact. It will pull it into the bed 140.79 millimeters and if you have a look on the back side there see that's where that line is that we can see so the line would it comes along here and just here and that's the bit that we can see on the model that i had and then i can just sub that to print just like normal okay so i'll slice it and just send it off my printer and it will print the um top bit of this model and then 
the good thing about the top bit is it'll have this on the bottom of it. So it won't be like, like the uh, infill won't be there. It'll have a solid bottom so you can put glue on that and then just glue it to the top here and it will stick to all those little bits there and you have a nice solid recovered print. Um, I've done it before. So <laughs> this is one of the models that I'm building, but it's happened before on me. And you can see just here, just here where it's it's failed. So I had all of this print. I think I'm going to throw that in the bin. So I just had to print this little bit at the end here. I did exactly the same thing and just glued it up. Now I'm going to need a little bit of um, Bondo or stuff in there just to fill that up and then just give it a bit of sand and you won't even notice it's there. And it's strong there. See, I can't, oh, jeez. I can't, can't get it off. But I recovered this print exactly the same way. Um, that's a little arm gun of one of the prints I'm doing. That is um, this little guy here, but in life size. So that little gun, well, that little gun there. So that that bit there is what I just just holding in my hand, and this is this size. So you can imagine how big this draw, droid's going to be. It's going to be a, a life size droid. Oops. We'll leave them. <laughs> I'll pick them up later. Anyway, so that's how you recover from a print that's um. Now the good thing about when it runs out like that, you don't get a jam. You just um, stop the print and <clears throat> just do your normal um, filament removal routine. So basically, on the Creality ones, you've got a retract function. I just go in, just push retract, and retract the filament out. And it shouldn't leave any inside the um, <clears throat> print head to get stuck because it's 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 just sitting there. Sometimes if you had it sitting there for quite a while, you might get a bit of a jam in there and just go through your normal procedures of how to do it undo a jam. <clears throat> Nowadays the Creality printers come with a, a little wire with a little loop on the end that can shove down into the print head and get rid of all those jams, um, <clears throat> which works really well. But I didn't have to do that. And the last two times I've had that happen, um, I've got to think of some way of getting rid of that little bit at the end there. That's happening a fair bit now. So the um, manufacturing process has obviously changed. They haven't had it in the past. So it's like, eh. Okay, guys, so it's just finished printing. And this is the bit. See that the bottom gets filled in when you do this. So, so how is the bit? Not bad, not bad at all. Because that's how that pattern went on this side. And if it looks on the other side, it's going to fit perfect there. So all I do now is just glue it together. So I use this glue. So it's um, Mitre Kit um, so, so Sordal Mitre Kit. So basically the spray can is a accelerator and this is basically like super glue. <clears throat> so, what I do is on the flat bit of here, just get some glue on. I want to cover it, but I don't want to blob it everywhere. I'm going to glue to clean up afterwards. Now, there's two ways of doing it. I can either spray the other base straight away, in which case I've got about a second to get it on and line it up. And I'm not going to be able to do that, so <laughs> I will not spray it straight away. I will get it lined up. So I'm just basically lining it up with the glue on. And once I've got it lined up, I'll put some pressure on top. So, and then I'll get the ray where the joint is. And hopefully that will... Get hold of any little bits on the outside and stick them down. Longer. Now I put a little bit of um, Bondo and Spack and stuff around here and then give it a bit of a sand. And you'll never know that it was, um, it was 
I have stuck up print. But that's how you recover a print, yeah? Look how smooth that. Not many layer lines there at all, are there? Yeah, look at my hands. Ugh, that was terrible. I had an allergic reaction to some medication. <laughs> Okay, easy, easy. Okay, guys, just a little plug um, for the groups that are on Facebook. Um, and I've mentioned them before, but I'll mention them again. Most of the manufacturers have a, a group on Facebook that will um, they have members in it that can help you with these sort of problems. Um, so if you've got like a Creality, say, or a Bamboo or any of those sort of printers, um, jump online. Have a look at Facebook, do a search on the printer name, and you'll usually come up with some sort of group and it'll have people in it that have been doing it for a while and they should be able to help you with these sort of problems as I'm trying to do with this video. Um, I know Creality's official ones have Creality Official and then the name of the printer. So this happened on a K1C, so it'll be Creality Official K1C. Um, and you should be able to join the group. It's got thousands of people and someone's had this sort of problem happened to them sometime before and they, they can all give you their different rate on how to fix the problem. Um, this problem that I've had with the reel is not a printer problem, it's a manufacturer of the filament problem. Um, so <clears throat> I'm not sure how you're going to fix that, it's their manufacturing process. But um, like I said, with their getting the clippers in and trying to get rid of that little notch that's in there, um, so people can tell you that sort of thing. So it's very well worth joining these groups um, just to get help and just jump on every time you have a problem. I jump on every single day to try and help people out that do have problems. Um, there's a few groups I'm a member of. I'm a member of like all, all my printers. So I've got a K1C, I've got a K1 Max, I've got a um, Ender 3 V3 and an Ender 3 V3 KE. So I've got, I'm a member of all those groups to try and if I've had a problem, I like to help people out and that's what the whole industry is about um, helping everybody out with when they get problems um, so um, I know Creality has also got a discord There's lots of people in the discord that can help you out and they're on the forums in there as well so um, if you haven't already joined them go ahead and join them um, or the other one I'm a member of which is an all-round one not just on specific printers it's um, just anything Creality is Creality, uh, Creality official store and that's basically the right it gives you help on anything that is creality branded i'm not sure if the other manufacturers have it um, because creality put staff into these um, groups to, so staff can help out as well but the other ones the other manufacturers as far as i can tell just have community members in it and they're, they're good anyway so um, join up if you haven't already joined up jump on their facebook groups and join up and join. okay guys see ya oh Anyway, if you've made it this far, please like uh, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Uh, have a nice day. And I will see you next time I have a problem <laughs> or on my weekly videos. Okay, see you, guys. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys.